Okay, so I'm just going to start. So last last night for the second night in a row, I put in a 12-hour shift at here in line. Many think it's us stopping the bridge. You have no idea what you're talking about. We've been gone. They 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 beat the shit out of many people yesterday right in front of us. Do you see any cars? Going on that bridge? I just want to know, you know. <sighs> this is going to be a little emotional. I'm not even playing with you because the things that I saw and what is happening in my home, this is my home, is uh, it's not good. It's not good, guys. It's not good. I just want to make this clear. Anyone driving around to come see uh, to come see West and here in line area right now, if you've got one of these, you don't even know they're coming. They're coming for you. They'll pull you over. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for some more people. I'm trying to be calm, you know. Uh, even I have. Moments where it's like, wow, how much more can you take? But at the same time, I know what I'm doing. I see all the messages I get from y'all, and I appreciate it. It's not easy to do this shit. The reason I stay there when shit is about to happen. Yeah, there's that, that saying, hold the line. And the reason for that is, is if we had the numbers we had during the day at night, this wouldn't have happened. They would never move in like that on a big crowd. When we're united, we win. It's simple, okay? You need to understand what it's like to see that intimidating line, the rubber bullets, the guns in Windsor on our home. This is Canada. I watched a 69-year-old man get his head slammed against the ground. I watched a woman who couldn't stand because she was too cold and they hit her in the face and she was a piece of shit. Me getting arrested, that's, yeah, that happened. But that is not what matters. The disgusting things that I saw is what people need to see. I'm a tough dude, man. I've been through a lot of shit, but I'm going to tell you.